What's up guys, this is Yashan Spirit 22 back here again this time with another video and this time we are doing a reaction video and it, I'm going to be reacting to the brand new Photon Hypernova Galaxy Photon cards. I've been waiting for this news for like ever ever since they announced the, that the pack uh, is going to be released in October so yeah i'm really really excited to see what cars are we going to get i have managed to uh remain spoiler free for the past i think eight nine hours because it, they they rebuilt this stuff for like uh i think around uh, 1 p.m uh singapore time which is now is already 10 42 p.m so yeah i tried to remain spoiler free i didn't want to spoil myself i want to do a reaction video to the Photon Galaxy card, so let's get started. So now we are at YGOorganization.com and let's scroll this, scroll down, shall we? PHHY, the numeral hunter strikes again with new Photon Galaxy support. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my god, look at that. That is beautiful. Wait, 62? Prime Photon Wait 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 So it's a Yeah I'm not Oh it's number 62 Prime Photon Dragon So this is like a Oh no Am I thinking what is this? Could it be Neo Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon? Yeah it kinda looks like Prime Photon Dragon but Neo form That means We're gonna need a Rake Up Magic Tommy Please don't. I really don't want a rank up magic, really. Uh let's okay, never mind. Let's just scroll down and see. Okay. So we have Photon Emperor. So let's see here. Level 8. Warlight Warrior Effect Monster. Attack 2800. Defense 1000. You can only use the first effect of this card on name once per turn. If this card is sent to the graveyard, except from the field. And you have another photon or galaxy monster on your field or in the graveyard. You can spend some of this card in defense version. Okay, that's a very good effect. Second effect is after you normal or spend some of this card, you can normal summon one light monster during your main phase. This turn, in addition to your normal summon or set, you can only get this effect once per turn. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, this um, uh, it combos well with a uh, galaxy soldier by. Using Galaxy Soldier's effect, you discard him, spend summon Galaxy Soldier, Galaxy Soldier will search one and he will spend summon himself. You can normal summon another light monster during your main phase this during main phase this turn. Oh it doesn't have to be immediately. Oh you can you can just additional normal summon during your main phase. Okay, 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 okay. Nah, this is really good. I thought it's I thought it was immediately. Okay, okay, no, so this is really good. Okay, so Galaxy Soldier's effect, discard this, spend summon Galaxy Soldier. Uh, this guy will spend summon himself out. Then you use the fact. Uh, you can you can normal summon one light monster with your main phase. Yeah, so you gain you gain an additional normal summon. Then Galaxy Soldier will search out one card. Then you can the card that you search out with Galaxy Soldier, maybe with Galaxy Wizard or something, you can just normal summon that monster. So yeah, yeah, okay, 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 okay I get the summon now. Okay. So it's a, and it's a level eight too. That's a very good level. Okay, so yeah, it's really it looks like a rare. Yeah, I think it is a rare card. So, next card, Galaxy Summoner. It's a level 4. So, this will, will be the card that you'll be searching for Galaxy Soldier. So, Galaxy Summoner, level 4, Light Spellcaster, Attack 1006, Defense 1004. You can only use the first and second effect on this card name once per turn. If this card is normal or special summon, you can target one photon of Galaxy Monster in your graveyard, except Galaxy Summoner. Special summon it in Defense Position. Okay, that's good. Really good. Second effect is you can target one other light monster you control that has a level. Its level becomes 4 until the end of this turn. Okay, so okay, this guy is really good as well. So basically, if you normal summon him, you can spend summon a photo of galaxy monster in your graveyard, and then you can target that monster, change its level to 4. So it gives you a rank 4, or you can just 4, 8, and then just use it, use it to link. You know, yeah, that's pretty good. Level manipulation is actually pretty good, changing the level to 4. So let's say you start normal summon this, you have a level 8, spend summon level 8. Effects is still there, it doesn't negate the effect. Oh, so you can trigger this guy as well. Okay, that's really good. That's really, really good. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, this guy will give you an unknown someone. Oh my god, synergy! Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's really good. The target one other line monster, you can throw it against that devil becomes four. I will, I would wish that he has the effect that you can, he becomes four or level eight as well, but yeah, whatever, level four. I'm guessing this will be the super rare because this card is like a starter, so yeah. Okay, we have Gally Karibo. Okay, so we have a Karibo now for Galaxies. The first Karibo we got was a Photon, which was Curry Photon. So now they're giving us a Galaxy Karibo. Okay, level 1, Light Fiend, Effect Monster, Attack 300, Defense 300, 200. This card is always treated as a Galaxy card. Okay, that's good. So it's searchable. Second, so first effect. When I put a sponsor, declares that they can discard this card. Spend summon one Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon from the hand or deck. Then change the attack target to it. Then you can attach this card from your graveyard to an exit monster on the field as material. Okay, pretty good. Second effect, got Photon on and or Galaxy Monsters you control will be destroyed by a battle or bonus card effect. Okay, but this card from your graveyard. Okay, so it's a so it's a return of the Dragon Lords for Photon Galaxy. About time they got it, but in a monster. And when your opponent monster declares a attack, you can spend some more galaxy eyes. Oh, the effect is still there. Okay, so you can use the galaxy eyes photon dragon's effect to banish uh, himself and the uh, attacking monster. Okay, okay, this card is good, but will you run it? I mean, you will run it, but how many copies are you running? Because it's a level 1. And it's okay, I mean, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe 1 or 2. It's not a tuner. If it was a tuner, I mean, the Galaxy doesn't need tuner anymore. But, but goddamn, if this card was a tuner, you can run Sage of the Eyes of Blue, normal summon this, summon summon him and search him out, but he's not a tuner, so he can't run it. Okay, oh yes, there we go, the spicy part of the thing. So, yep, as expected, Cow's Numbers, Lokju Ni, Neo Galaxy Eyes, Prime Photon Drunk. So, yep. Prime Photon is getting a Chaos form, but it's a rank 8. Oh, so, oh, that means no rank up magic? Okay, okay, let's read back. Okay, attack 4000, defense 3000. That's actually very low for Neo monster. Normally, Neo monsters are supposed to be like 4000, 5, 3008. So, kind of a, kind of a small nerf, I would say. Then, summoning material 3 level 8 light monsters. Okay, that's actually doable but you can also exit summon this card using a number 62 galaxy eyes prime photon dragon you control transfer its materials to this card oh okay it's a rank up for prime photon okay that's good that's really good ranking up a prime photon up to this we are we are using rank up magic okay okay this is good this, okay, okay, okay that's good that's good. that's i was so scared that you I, we needed to play rank up magic. I do not want to play rank up magic with my uh, Photon Galaxy deck. Thank God, no rank up magic was. Then, first effect. At the start of your battle phase, you can attach one material from this card. This card can make up to three attacks on monsters during this turn. Wow, okay. So, 4000 beta attacking three times. That's pretty good. Then, if this card has Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon as material, it gets these effects. First effect, unaffected by your opponent's monster effects. Pretty good. Second, the last effect is gains attack equal to the combined levels and ranks of all monsters attached to his material times 100. Wow, okay, let's count it. Okay, so let's say if you use the two level 8s, maybe a Galaxy Eyes and an Afterglow, to we'll exit summon to number 62, then use Prime Photon Dragon to rank up to this guy. Then this is after use this effect to detach after glow. Yeah, I start your battle phase, you can detach, detach after glow. Then for each level and rank. So if you have three materials, he he will gain two thousand four hundred. So making him a six thousand four hundred. That's pretty big. But if you detach after glow, he will drop back down to five thousand six hundred. But he will double his power. So he will be. 11,200 They can attack 3 monsters Now that's pretty good but The attack bonus I would still say Prime Photon is better because Original Prime Photon gains 200 for each rank 
and yeah, I Prime Photon OTKs better, but this guy clears monsters and is unaffected by monster effects. So it's a slight, I would say it's a slight downgrade for the power, but the triple attack mode that's actually very very strong. Yeah, it's unaffected by monster effects, so your opponent, so your opponent couldn't cannot use Boros Sword against it. He can't even Apollosa you because you're unaffected, so you use the effect to detach. Detach Afterglow and Afterglow will double his attack. He can't even, he can't even uh, Apollosa his this guy's effect. But he can Apollosa the Afterglow, so the double attack will get negated, but the triple attack is not negated. So yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty good. This is pretty good, man. And the artwork, man. Let's take a look at the artwork. God damn, that is beautiful. Look at the triple head right there. Beautiful. The 62 on the wing. Is that a wing? Or is that like a... I think it's the legs. Yeah, I think it's the legs. 62 here. I remember the original Prime Photon, the 62 was like on his back or on his wings or something. I can't remember. And the wings looks beautiful, man. Wow, this artwork is amazing. I would want to get this card in Prismatic. Man, this card is beautiful. This card will look sick in Ultimate Rare. It will look beautiful in Prismatic, man. Trust me. When the pack comes out, I'm I'll try to get a Prismatic of this card, and I'll definitely be doing a depth profile with uh, my Galaxy Photon deck and with all these uh other cards. Okay, so okay, we have another Exit Monster. We this is Galaxy Photon Dragon. Okay, that's very orig original name. Okay, so it's a rank four Light Dragon Exit, attack two K, defense zero. Materials is 2 level 4. You can only use the second effect and third effect of this card name once per turn. First effect, all other light boxes you control gain 500 attack. Okay, this is pretty good. Okay, second effect is you can detach one material from this card. Take one photon or galaxy card from your deck. Either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. Okay, free search, that's pretty good. And if a light monster is best summoned to your field, you can target one of them that has a level. Its level becomes 4 or 8 until the end of this turn. Okay, now that turn effect is good. But it only happens to the monster that is best summoned. So, oh, if you have him on the field, he's best summoned Galaxy Soldier. Galaxy Soldier becomes a level 8 or level 4. Oh, okay, okay. Will you run this? I mean, yeah, the free search is good and all, but when it comes to rank 4, I'd rather summon. Starleach Photon Blast Dragon though. Starleach Photon Blast Dragon looks like a better choice in my opinion. Yeah, because Starleach Photon Blast spend summons like a free photon. When you actually summon, you can spend summon a free photon monster from the hand and then uh he protects all your monsters with 2000 or more attack from being targeted in short by card effect. And then during your opponent's turn you can dash off gears, target one galaxy eyes for green card, spend some good. I mean you can run it, I would definitely I think I'll run one. There are one Sadish Photon Blast Dragon as well. Then yeah, maybe. But the good news is he gives he gives all your light monsters 500. So if you have him and Sadish Photon Blast Dragon on the field, Photon Blast Dragon will be at 2003. So his own effect will protect himself and everybody else. So that's the good thing about this guy. So he kind of buffs your for Sadish Photon Blast Dragon as well, which is a good thing because. For Starish Photon Blast Dragon in, order, in that time, in order to make himself um, uh, protectable by his own effect, you had to put an orbital and equip it to him from your hand, which sucks. But yeah, maybe this guy will be much better. Who knows? But yeah, the first effect does. Second effect is good because you can take a photon or galaxy card from there. It doesn't have to be monster, it's anything. A monster, spell, and trap. That's very really good. Okay, so that's all the monster. Let's move on to the spells. So we have Galaxy 100, Continuous Spell Card. You can only activate one card of this card name one per turn. You only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. First effect, when this card resolves, you can send one Photon or Galaxy card from your deck to the graveyard. A foolish barrier for Photon and Galaxy. I mean, I, I mean, it props the, uh, what was that card again? Uh, Photon Emperor? Yeah, we props this guy. Yeah, that's good. And you can throw Galaxy as Photon Dragon from the to Graveyard as well. So yeah, that's okay, that's good. Okay, then if a second effect is uh, if a Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon is pressed summoned to your field, you can look at your opponent's extra deck. Okay, then apply one of these effects. Banish one monster from it. Okay, okay. Spend summon one number monster from it to your field. Okay. 
Oh, okay, this card is actually pretty strong. Okay, I don't think you can use this. Yeah, you can't use this effect on your opponent's turn. Like, let's say you can spend someone on Galaxy Eyes to do your opponent's turn. You can, like, uh, can you? I don't think so. It doesn't say that you can do it during your opponent's turn. But, yeah, okay. Four monster from your opponent's extra day. That is strong. Like, that really hurts a lot of decks, actually. And you can do it on the first turn too, if you have this card on the field Then you just spend some like Galaxy Eye, you can just Look at your opponent's shoulder and just banish one of the cards that you Your opponent's gonna summon, like If you let's This card is, okay, this card actually is quite strong One way is because Let's say you play against an opponent that you don't even know your what deck he's playing You can just use this Spend some Galaxy Eye, look at your shoulder and then you'll find out what deck he's playing And then you can just banish the card that you know that he's gonna definitely, definitely gonna summon Oh, okay this card is really strong. Okay, it's a continuous spell. Okay, spend some one almost once normal almost from the it from it to your field. Not many uh, decks now run number monsters, so this effect doesn't really matter. You'll be using it for the first effect. The first effect is really, this card is really strong. Yeah, this card is really good. Okay, so we have Numeron Creation. Nice number one hundred on the artwork. Okay, normal spell. This card is always treated as a Galaxy Galaxy Ice card. Not Galaxy, but Galaxy Ice card. Okay, you can only use, you can only apply the effect of this card's name once per turn. If there are three or more light dragon monsters on the field with three thousand or more original attack, you can spend some one dragon number exceed monster from an extra deck. Then attach this card on the field to it as material. I mean, it's just, it's just a way to bring out number hundred. Numeron Dragon easier. I mean, it doesn't have to be Numeron Dragon. You can spend some energy. You can even summon. You can even summon. You can even summon oh crap! Sorry. Okay, you, you can even summon this guy as well. But mm, nah, I will run this. Yeah, it doesn't really help that. I mean, you. I mean, getting up three or more light dragon monsters with three thousand or more original attack is easy. But still, though. Nah, I will, I'm so I'm not running. Sorry. This card is, I would say it's garbage, but nah, no thanks. Okay, so we have the last card. We have Photon Retard, uh, should I pronounce it? No, 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 I just, okay, we have another name. So we have Photon Deceleration. I was about to pronounce that word, but no, 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 no thank you. Okay, so we have a normal trap. Oh, the hour is pretty nice. Let's do, let's just check with the hour first. Nice, we have uh, Kaito, or is it Number Hunter walking around in the background? Like a galaxy around it, and bubbles are blowing. Okay, that hey, that's a ha Mr. Heartland's uh, heart. That's pretty cool. Okay, deceleration, normal trap. Take one photon of galaxy continuous spell from your deck, and either add it to your hand or place it face up on your field. Photon of galaxy continuous spell and trap. So that means this card. Then we have the uh the trap card called Photon Transmigration. Yeah, that continuous trap. Yeah, that card. Yeah, you can play. If you're playing this, you're definitely gonna run that. Because that trap card is pretty good. You can like activate this, then uh set the transmigration. Transmigration is gonna like tribute uh photon or galaxy monster. You're feeling as best summon another uh photon monster, is it? Photon or Galaxy monster with different name, which is actually pretty good. Then if you tribute Galaxy, or you can add a Photon or Galaxy uh, mo monster from the back of your hand. If you tribute Galaxy, you can use both effects. So yeah, that's actually not too bad, I guess. Eh? And but one thing to take note: place it face up on your field, so it doesn't count as activating. So let me take here with this card. When this card resolves, uh, I don't know if this will help this at all, but I'm guessing not. But why? But let's just point out. If this set card you control is destroyed by opponent's card, opponent's card effect during that turn, and you control a Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon or an Exit Monster that has it as player, you can make it become the end phase. This card ends your opponent's turn if he pops it with an effect okay okay that's actually pretty disgusting if you think about it so 
you said this, your opponent activates a Harpy Spatter Duster. He pops it. And let's say you're going first, you'll definitely have a Prime of. Uh, you definitely have a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. I don't know if you're in a in a Steam Monster material. Definitely will be number 90. Uh Photon Lord. Photon you will definitely summon Photon Lord when you go first because Photon Lord is like a water negation. So So definitely you have number 90 on the field. And then your opponent just activates a Harpy Spell Dancer and pops this or anything that pops a spell trap. Then this card gets popped. Here's his effect. Reveal to him. Sorry bro, your turn ends. My turn now, I draw. The opponent has nothing on board. Unless he decides to do some things before he activates Happy Feather Duster, but normally people don't do that. They will just Happy Feather Duster first to clear all the spell and traps on the field. To make sure that they avoid like traps or anything. So they can so that they can continue their turn. This card literally says you activate Harpy's Feather Duster, you are dead. You, you don't get to play the game at all. Wow, okay, this card is... I won't say it's that good, but if it happens, you are winning the game. There is no way you will lose the game. Like, really. If, you're, if your opponent is playing against you, you have this card set face down. The more your opponent activates a Harpy's Feather Duster, you can tell him, I just won, bro. There's no nothing you can do. I, you destroyed my trap card. You couldn't, you can't do anything because now it straight away goes to the end phase. But like I said, that is, that is provided he does things before he activates a happy Feather Duster. But normally, that is not the case. People will just happy Feather Duster with you first before they decides to continue playing the game. Wow. A one-off? Yeah, I'll just play one. Just to have fun with my opponent. Like I'll just set this and I'll, and I'll just pray. Pray to my opponent like please, please destroy this card. And then he just ends his turn right there. Yeah, so yeah, that's pretty good. You what rank is artifact you render? It's a rank five, it's a rank five. Oh, oh my god, okay. Oh, I just thought of something disgusting. Okay, funny. If you're a Photon or Galaxy player, you will definitely. If, let's say you go first. You're gonna, you're, you're definitely going to summon a uh, uh, what's that thing monster again? A uh, Soul Flare with a uh, Cyber Dragon Infinity and Photon Lord, so that you have one Omni Negate, a Monster Negate, and a Interrupter during your opponent's turn. So. You can switch over the Cyber Dragon Infinity into Artifact Durandal. And Artifact Durandal is a light. So you don't get affected by your Photon Spell and Trap. Oh! Then you set this card face down. Your opponent activates anything. Be it an Infinite Impermanence. Let's say if you Infinite Impermanence your Durandal or whatever. Just detach a material from Durandal. Change the infinite impermanence effect to popping a spell and trap on your field. Your opponents pop this game over, man. Your opponent's turn just ends just like that. Unless he finds a way to negate this, but he's going second. Like definitely, you go first when you're playing this deck. But oh wow, oh my god, I never thought about that. Oh, oh, I need to find my foot. I need to find my Durandal. I remember I, I do have a Durandal. I will be putting Durandal in my extra deck now. I mean, unless I decide not to buy this card, but definitely I'll keep around one copy. And it's searchable anyway. It's like, you can... Photon! Okay, sorry. It's searchable by some cards. You can only use... You can use this to search it out. Uh, what else can search? Photon cards. Galaxy Wizard only can search Galaxy cards. Photon Lord can search Photon cards, but you they only he only searches during your opponent's turn. So yeah, only this card. Yeah, okay. So only this card can search for Photon cards. Unless I missed something. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, the, only this can search for Photon cards. The rest all searches for Galaxy, so it's pretty sad. But yeah, yeah, that's all.
So yeah, that is the Photon Galaxy card review. I have to say I'm actually very impressed with the amount of support that we're getting. But I don't think that's all the support we're getting. I believe wait, how many cards are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 cards. That means 2 more cards. Because I remember the previous pack, uh Darkwing Blast. Uh Black Feathers had like 10 cards. So we are gonna make we are short of two cards maybe? Or I mean I don't believe this this are all the cards. I remember mean, I we do believe we're getting more cards. But first impression of this Galaxy Photon amazing. Absolutely absolutely amazing. Ah, not so much, but the artwork beautiful. I'm I'm getting high rarity on this card, man. This card is amazing. Look just look at the artwork again. That is beautiful. I really like that. That's very nice. That is my review of reaction and review of the new Photon Galaxy cards from the Photon Hypernova. Hope you guys enjoy my reaction video. Uh, if I can, I might be trying to uh, maybe playing on uh, what's the game called? Okay, Neuron. Yeah, New Year Neuron. When they add these new cards into the deck, and let's let uh, test play the deck, see what cards I need to replace for my Galaxy Photon deck. I still have my Photon Galaxy Fo Galaxy Photon deck in my deck box because it's one, it's still one of my favorite decks to play. Because I had that deck for very long, and at that time, the the last Photon Galaxy card that we got was the was it Afterglow? Yeah, I think it was Afterglow. Afterglow was like the best card ever they released. For Galaxy Photons, and then now in twenty, that was back in twenty nineteen, yeah, December. Now we are in twenty twenty two. More than two years later, then they started to give us Photon Galaxy cards. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. I uh, definitely be doing more card uh, reviews uh, and reactions to in the future, definitely. I decided to do this because I decided to make this my first video, reaction video because it's Galaxy Photons, man. I'm known to play Galaxy Photons. In fact, my second, third, yeah, third video ever was a deck profile of Galaxy Photons. So, yeah, definitely I'll I'll be reacting to this uh, video, and I'm pretty. I have to say I'm pretty happy. So, uh, competitive wise of this deck, I will. I would love to say that it's competitive, but I don't think so. Like, it has potential. Just like in the past when Photon Galaxies got support in 2018, it had so much potential to be meta or competitive because we had we gotten Photon Lord, then we could summon Cyber during Infinity and Nova on the first turn. Then we had a Soul Flare, we could pop cards during our bonus turn, like like. It, it was said so much potential, but it just wasn't good enough. So, hoping this pack will make it even better, I guess. But there's one problem Photons and Galaxy still have, and that is they don't have, they still don't have a, a proper Omni Negate, which is either Extra Deck Monster or even a, a D Barrier. For Photon Galaxy, I do not know why they still don't want to give us a D barrier for Photon Galaxies. A good D barrier for sorry, not D barrier. Uh, what was the track card again? Uh, Infinity Barrier. Sorry, not D barrier. Infinity Barrier for Photons and Galaxies. But you might never know. You might get it. Then you recover. We are still short of two cards. So for, let's hope for the best that they give us a Infinity Barrier for Photon Galaxies. You might never know. So yeah. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And guys, I still haven't forgotten about my 200 subs. I still haven't done the second giveaway yet. I'm just waiting for more comments to me in my video. And then I'll be doing winner video next week. Because next week I have a major announcement to make. Uh, I'll let you know what the announcement is in the, in the next week, in my next video of when I'm announcing the winner of my second giveaway. So please do stay tuned for that video. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And then stay tuned for more. And I have social media right now. You can follow me in the links down here below or in the description box below. Right down here, in, right down below in the video below. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. DJ Sun is 22, signing off.